everyone. Welcome to this day. It is Friday, June 24th. Now we have one meeting to tell you about and that will be at 9.30 this morning. It is the GRF Clubhouse Ad Hoc Committee meeting. And of course that will be in the boardroom and you can uh, attend that at 9.30 this morning. All right, on our show today we have Ken Simonson and Peggy McCaughey on behalf of the Shuffleboard Club. And they have a meeting coming up and they want to invite everyone to join the Shuffleboard Club and learn and enjoy the game of Shuffleboard. Then we have Sports Corner with Cole Young and he's got lots of great sports information for us over for what you can watch over the weekend. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. Well, we are looking at sunny skies. We're burning off that fog. Uh, you know, we have very early morning fog, but by the time you wake up, you're not gonna see any of it. 82.65, 84.58, 83.68, much warmer next week, 86.70 then back down 84.62. If you are traveling, take a look at these numbers. Our beaches are looking great, as well as the mountains. Everything's looking quite clear. Local beaches, 76, 63, San Diego, 76, Santa Barbara, 77, Palm Springs, 109, with a balmy 82. Tahoe, Big Bear, and Mammoth, 83, 79, and 80. Las Vegas, 106, so very pleasant days. Okay, our sunrise this morning was at 542 and our sunset will be at 805. And thank you, Mark, for sending in another beautiful sunset picture, I believe, and uh, some cloudy skies there. Real good capture of all the different kinds of clouds that we have. If you have a photo that you would like to share with us, please email it to LagunaWoodsVillageTV at gmail.com. Please make sure it is an original and it is in high resolution and we are looking for summertime photos. All right, when we come back, we will have the Shuffleboard Club, so stick around. Facts are frightening. One out of three people over 65 fall each year. The idea of falling makes me very fearful. I have a fear because my balance is poor. The number one reported accident for a senior is a fall. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. I want you to try 60 Up. 60 Up is the balance system that can change your life. If you have balance, strength, or mobility issues, you need 60 Up. It's a miracle. Within a couple weeks, my balance is improved. If you're feeling scared to get up and out, you need 60 Up. It's easy to use and it works. 60 Up is a safe, low impact balance exercise system with integrated poles. 60 Up strengthens your core, legs, increases cardio for energy, stamina, and overall physical health. Go to 60up.com. 60 Up has live classes, hundreds of workouts for balance, and thousands of people in our Facebook members community. I created the 60 Up and it really works. So join me on my live classes and let me help you improve your balance and mobility together. Try it risk-free for 30 days and get free shipping if you order now. It changed my life. Go to 60up.com. That's the number 60up.com. Hi, I'm Vince Ferragamo. I spent some of my best years as an NFL quarterback, but today I've got a new team and we're helping seniors who spent their best years fighting for our country, defending our freedom and informing the nation. Our hometown heroes need help. AgeWell Senior Services is their lifeline. Nonprofit AgeWell can do all of this because you care enough to give. Please join me in supporting AgeWell. Donate today. Looking for a change of scenery? You don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials, at 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there's something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. How do you comfort a family who's experienced a loss? At O'Connor Mortuary, we start by welcoming them into our space, where families of all faiths and cultures belong. We allow them the time to process their grief, providing guidance when it's needed and listening intently when it's not. We gather the values, the stories, the relationships, and the dreams together and use them to shape the memory of their loved one into a beautiful experience they'll cherish forever. When your family is in need of true comfort, call O'Connor Mortuary. 
Laguna Woods Dental Care, our goal is to serve and provide dental services to the residents of Laguna Woods. Dr. Mosin Mahmood is currently specializing in senior dental care from USC Dental School and has been serving the Laguna Woods community for over 16 years. At Laguna Woods Dental, our top priority is your overall wellness, ensuring your current medications do not affect your oral health. We offer a convenient plan for $250 a year that includes exam, x-rays, and all types of cleanings are covered. Our office is located right outside of gate number three. Come book your appointment today. Welcome back. Well, as I mentioned, we have Ken and Peggy here on behalf of the Shuffleboard Club. Well, welcome you two. How are you today? Thank Just you. fine. Thank well, you. Well, we know you've been on, but Peggy, welcome. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about yourself. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long have you been playing shuffleboard? Oh, five, six years. Okay. Uh, have I've... you lived there that long, too? Pardon me? Have you lived here that long, too? No, I've been here 17 years. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Well, what brought you to shuffleboard? Gosh, I don't even remember. <laughs> One of the members probably just invited me and I decided to try it out. And so. you like it? I do. I love it. Okay. Love well, it. What do you think uh, some, of, some of the people, you know, what, what draws people to shuffleboard? I think the, first of all, the socialization. There's great people. That and it's an easy sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to remember too much, right? Because right. yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's probably hard about a lot of things. And, and not and a lot of physical. See, anybody can play it. Yeah. Right, you right. Know, I know you. Know I know you sent us a photo of someone who is in a is in a wheelchair, yeah. and you know I would I would imagine that you're able to like here we have a gentleman who's in a wheelchair and he is pushing. What is that thing called? A stick. Oh, stick. just like it looks, a stick. <laughs> okay, so you have a stick, yeah. and then are those considered pucks? Disc. Oh, discs. Okay. All right. And tell me how the game works. Well, it's relatively simple. It's in one sense. There's challenges to it, and stuff. Okay. But you have a disc and scoring, as you can see, a triangle there. Yes. Each triangle is worth different points. Okay. And so you try and score as many points. And your person next to you is against you, so right. if you're scoring, they're trying to knock the scoring off. Oh, so it would that. replace like your their their disc is replacing the other yeah. one. Oh, I see. Okay, are you pretty good? I think I'm <laughs> okay. I'm not a professional by any means. Well, but. no, but nonetheless, yeah. you enjoy it, and I you're do. probably pretty good at it if you play <laughs> yes. it a lot. Yeah. Now, how many members are you? Do you have now? I'd say 30, 40 ish in, the, okay. in our book. There's okay. 40 people. And how many people can play at a time? Well, we have six courts. Okay. And there's, you can have four on each court. Mm -hmm. So there's, you can have 24 people play. Okay. Okay. So, That's excellent. Yeah. It's very, you know, we have room for a lot of people. Yeah. Well, look at how slick the, uh, the what court. Is it? court. It looks like a runway. <laughs> Getting all of them wrong. So the court, do you have to maintain that? Oh yes. We uh, before <coughs> each time we play, we dust the court. In other words, we take a broom and clean it all off. Okay. Sure. And then we put this dressing. It's like a silicone dressing. Spread it all over the court, which makes it oh. very. How fast. often do you have to do that? Every time we play. You know, oh like my gosh, if that sounds like a lot of Monday, work. Well, it takes a few minutes, but yeah. So the and silicone is it? What is that made? Is it like a powder or a it, liquid? A little, little pebbles. Oh. Real little. It looks pebbles. like cornmeal. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you do, you put that on, and then what do you do? You have to do you buff it off. No, after the game is over, then you, we can just sweep it off. Oh, I see. You leave it on while you play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's that's one <clears> of the, if you want to say tricks, one of the ways to. That determines how you can either push it fast or slow. Mm. It determines, you know. Okay. That's part of the challenge. Just challenge <laughs> of the game. Well, now does let me ask you this. So, the the building itself is air conditioned, right? No. Oh, it is not. No, We've got that's, fans. That's fans. you know one thing that a long time ago they tried, but okay. But we have fans, and it's a little warm. But we have 
several fans okay. mounted and everything. Okay. So it, it's bearable. Tall. I okay. Mean, yeah. you know. can in the, the wintertime, we have heaters. Oh, okay, good. Can the, yeah. can the weather change the way uh, the court plays? Some people say yes, I some people so. say no. <laughs> what, what do you notice different? If it's cold, it's slower. When it's warm, it seems to go faster. Go faster. All right, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. And what are the uh, discs made of? They're real, what, a real hard plastic. Plastic, okay. I would think that. Yeah. That would be my okay. guess. Yeah. All right, well, excellent. Now, you guys have a, you have a meeting coming up, and it's July 7th. And uh, is that sort of an invitation for people to learn? Yeah. It's, okay. it's an open class. Okay. You know, and it's two hours on Thursday, 7th and two hours. Now, you can come to both of them. Okay. Or, you know, if you only can come to one uh -huh. or the other, you know, you can, it, it's a good lesson, they, the whole strategy and safety and everything else. And, you know, okay. along with that, though, we also have on our Monday, we play Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursday evening. Okay. You can come any of that time too okay. and get a small lesson and still okay. start to learn. Yeah. Okay. So now at your uh, July 7th and July 14th, which is in Clubhouse One Building C from 530 to 730, uh, basically you're going to run through how to play the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. From start to finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then will you actually have some matches? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody need to bring any equipment or do you have everything? Everything's provided, although we do require that people wear closed-toed shoes. Okay, now do you have to have a particular kind of bottom on them, like no. a tennis shoe? No. 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 Okay, so it doesn't Just have to be a tennis shoe. So those shoe. hard... The, uh, the reason okay. for that, because the disc at different times, sometimes can you have to shoot rather hard. Fly. Oh. And it can go down... And, and hit your toe. Hit oh, ouch. Toe. Yeah. Yeah, so and if you said it was a heavy plastic, then it all, probably could hurt. It's yeah. all, all part of the safety. Okay, excellent, excellent. Is there anything anybody else should know about shuffleboard that we haven't told them? Just that, you know, anybody can play it. Okay, there's, and it's there's fun. There's really no restriction. We've had right. some physically handicapped people. We've mm -hmm. had people in walkers, and as you can see, Steve yeah. with the wheelchair. So there's no reason not to play now how do you now i know you keep score yes uh what's the what's the highest score you need to achieve well if you're playing as a team it's how high you're just whoever has the highest, highest score at the wins. end of the day okay yeah. there's okay. not a certain point that you now make. do you write down the score or do you have to memorize it Nothing. <laughs> you just walk away. <laughs> there's, a, there's a board that. Oh, we there's keep. a board. Okay, oh, perfect. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the perfect. end of the day, we aren't. No, 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 no. Track. Sorry. Do you ever have tournaments? Oh yes. Oh okay. Awesome. In fact, tonight, every uh, well, I want to say quarter. Three times a year. Three or yeah. four times. We have tonight. There's a they call it a jackpot tournament where we have different style games, and I think there's pizza tonight. Yes. And this and that. So, and then we have throughout the year a few times a dinner with, then we play different games at dinner and stuff. So, perfect. Some of those details of that event is we abandon all the normal shuffleboard rules and play something totally different. Shall I tell them what we're playing tonight? <laughs> well, tell me what you play at okay. many of the uh, other kinds of events. Tonight's event, we're going to put a chair in the middle of the court. Mm. So, you got to wiggle your way around the legs of those chairs and so that'll be a challenge to score exactly, exactly. so that's just one type of, type of odd game. game we play once in a while <laughs> i love it though you know it, it, you you have lots of people who love to play and of course new people are always welcome and uh, i appreciate you guys sharing the information with me well we appreciate you and <laughs> Letting us present this yes. to the village. Yeah, you we bet. hope I, we hope we increase our membership. Absolutely. Great. And, and for the membership, it's just fifteen dollars a year. Perfect. Oh, that's right. right. Good. Yeah. Well, that's probably to pay for the pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. If you want more information about the Shuffleboard Club, you can go to our LagunaWoodsVillage.com website and search shuffleboard club and that will give you all the information we'll be right back
Village Television presents Friday Films, only on Village Television. Fridays at 2 and 6 p.m. Foreign films, dramas, and comedies. Award-winning films, romance and mystery. Independent films. Every Friday, only on Village Television. When a loved one requires ongoing assistance and attention, home-related care and caregiving become viable alternatives to an existence dependent upon hospitalization. Your home care provides thoughtful general care and assistance with the basic necessities of daily living, all within familiar surroundings. Call 949-215-0004 to schedule a personal in-home consultation. It's hard to believe we are already at another milestone. Today marks the 20th episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young, and I want to thank you for joining me yet again this week. We still have one championship series going on, but the rest of the sports world is slowly coming to a stall. The NHL Stanley Cup Finals are still raving on, and we have been treated to some incredibly exciting and somewhat odd games. Last week, I gave a recap of Game 1 that saw the Avalanche secure an overtime victory to take a 1-0 lead on the series. On Saturday night, I'm sure almost no one could have predicted what happened in Game 2. After Game 1, some people were calling the Avalanche victory beginner's luck or a one-time fluke, citing the Lightning's talent and experience in Championship Series as the reason the Avs would not win another game. Any doubt that was had about the talent of the Avs went right out the window in Game 2 as they made a statement winning 7-0. It looked as if they could score any time at will, and that they did. Watching the game, I would look away from the TV for maybe two to three minutes, and when I'd look back, the Avs had already scored one or two more times. It was an offensive explosion for Colorado and a defensive collapse for the Lightning. Game three was on Monday night, and it was a game that would have all but sealed the series had the Avalanche played the same as they did in game two. They still came out strong and took an early lead. However, the Lightning got hot fast and returned to championship form. Tampa Bay was able to put up some big numbers of their own and take home their first victory of the series, winning six to two in front of a packed home crowd. So, so far we had a close game one, games two and three were blowouts, but game four was one that came down to the wire. Tampa Bay would jump out to an early 1-0 lead, the Avalanche and Lightning would both score in the second period, and then the Avalanche would tie it 2-2 in the third as the game headed to overtime. 12 minutes into overtime, Avalanche center Nazim Kadri, who hasn't played since breaking his thumb and having surgery back on June 4th, would score the game-winning goal and give the Avalanche a 3-1 lead on the series. This means Colorado is just one game away from bringing home the Stanley Cup. This has been an incredible series so far. As much as I still believe the Lightning can still come back from this deficit, I do predict the Avalanche will close out the series tonight in Game 5. Even if you aren't the biggest hockey fan, I highly suggest watching this game. I promise you'll be entertained. Outside of this series, the NHL had their awards night on Tuesday to honor the best players in the league. The Hart Memorial Trophy, which goes to the MVP of the league, went to Maple Leafs center Austin Matthews. The Norris, the award for best defensive player, went to Avalanche defenseman Kale McCarr, who has put on an absolute clinic in the playoffs and the finals. And the Calder Award for Rookie of the Year, sadly did not go to Ducks' incredible rookie Trevor Zegras, but to Moritz Sider of the Detroit Red Wings. And while I am upset it wasn't our hometown kid, the trophy is well deserved for Sider. Of the three other major sports, NBA has come to an end and the NFL is slowly starting, but we still have midseason baseball. Of our three hometown teams, two are having incredible seasons, and one started off fantastic and then fired their head coach and broke a franchise record for most consecutive games lost. As I've mentioned before, the Angels lost 14 straight games after looking like the best team in the MLB early on. They now have dropped to third in the division, 10th in the American League, and 18th overall. It's a long season, and the two stars, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani, are still playing great baseball, so they still have time to turn it around and earn a spot in the playoffs. On the other hand, the Dodgers and Padres are looking like serious World Series contenders. They are the number one and two teams in their division, two and three in the National League, and the number four and five teams in the MLB. Unless these two teams have any Angels-esque midseason meltdowns, they will definitely be making long playoff runs once fall rolls around. Speaking of fall, as I said, the NFL is slowly coming to a start as training camp begins. Teams for the most part have their lineups set, and free agents have settled into their new homes. 
as is very common in sports media, I'm gonna make a way too early prediction for the season. Not so much of a prediction, but more of an observation. So I thought I'd list my top 10 teams heading into the 2022 season, and here it is. The LA Rams, Buffalo Bills, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Denver Broncos, Baltimore Ravens, Cincinnati Bengals, Las Vegas Raiders, Los Angeles Chargers, Kansas City Chiefs, and the New England Patriots. A lot of these teams come with a few question marks. Denver, for example, has completely changed their coaching staff and added Russell Wilson, which will change their entire offense. They have a high ceiling, but could underproduce. The Buccaneers are always solid with Tom Brady, but with the recent retirement of Rob Gronkowski and an aging offense, they could stall out later on in the season. The Ravens had an injury-ridden season last year, so no one really has a firm grasp of how talented they really are. I know it's a bold claim considering they've been to several consecutive AFC Championship games, but I truly believe this is the year the Chiefs begin to decline, especially after Mahomes lost his main target, Tyreek Hill, to the Dolphins. This list will obviously change and adapt as the season draws closer, but for now, I'm sticking with my gut. Over in the race world, there isn't an F1 race this weekend, but the next race will be the Great Britain Grand Prix during the first weekend in July. Last week's Canadian Grand Prix saw Max Verstappen take first place yet again for his sixth win of the year. Both the driver's standings as well as the Constructors' Cup standings are about the same as they were last week, with Red Bull atop both of the leaderboards. Sticking with action sports, there's another World Surf League event this weekend. The Oi Rio Pro in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil has kicked off and is taking place from June 23rd to the 30th. Felipe Toledo, the current leader of the men's tour, has won the past two events that took place here. Considering this is also a home event for him, it makes a lot of sense. Two local San Clemente surfers, Griffin Cole Pinto and Clohe Andino, will be competing in this event, so be sure to tune in at worldsurfleague.com to cheer them on. There's some weirdness surrounding the golf community lately, as several big name players are dropping out of the PGA Tour. The LIV Golf Invitational Series is pulling more and more players away from the tour, and this week, Brooks Kepka became probably the biggest name to join the new league. The LIV now has eight of the top players in the world, including Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, Bryson DeChambeau, and more. The league is apparently very appealing to players due to its introduction of a revamped schedule that will include increased purses worth at least $20 million at eight existing marquee events. With more and more high-profile golfers leaving the tour, the question is, will this be the new Premier Golf League? Only time will tell. I again want to thank you for joining me on 20 straight episodes of Sports Corner. Time really does fly when you're having fun. There's supposed to be some hot and beautiful weather this weekend, so enjoy the summer sun if you can. I'm Cole Young, and come right back here next Friday for another episode of Sports Corner. Have a great weekend. Freedom Village Skilled Nursing offers rehabilitation after surgery with our team of on-site therapy professionals. We are proud that our quality care measures are recognized by Medicare. We support you with your recovery with a caring staff and registered nurses around the clock. Freedom Village Skilled Nursing is conveniently located near three hospitals, open to the public and offers private serenity suites. Call today to experience first-class care for your loved one. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, COVID lockdowns in China, relentless inflation and rising interest rates have disrupted production and caused the global economy to stall. Is your money at risk during these uncertain times? Do you know how much exposure you have to the stock market and bond mutual funds? Should you even have money in the market today? Get a free risk analysis to ensure your capital is protected. Call now for information on the Safer Money System, 949-219-0692. Our movie today is part of our International Film Friday, and uh, it is starring Gerard, or excuse me, Javier Bardem, and it is called The Sea Inside. It is a Spanish film, and it is about the 2004, uh, it's a drama film that was written, produced, and directed, scored, and edited 
all by Alejandro Amenabar, which won the Academy Award for Best Foreign uh, Language Film. So you guys can check that out today at 2 and 6 p.m., both with closed captioning, and that is brought to you by Hogue. All right, well, 4th of July is next week, and uh, of course, we've got our parade, which is going to end at Clubhouse 2, and it starts at 11 a.m., but then from 2 to 6, there are tons of fun things to do for the kids as well as adults. We'll have music, and they're going to have a beer garden, and they have lots of fun uh, food that you could actually purchase. So enjoy that on Monday, July 4th from 11 to 2, Clubhouse 2. It is free admission. And if you want more information, recreation at vmsinc.org. Now, the pageant of the Masters is going to be starting next weekend, and that is going to be the Festival of the Arts as well as the pageants. Now, the Festival of Arts is open earlier in the evening, but each pageant of the Masters is at 8.30 in the evening. It's at the Irvine Bowl at the Festival of the Arts in Laguna Beach. If you want more information, 800-487-3378, or you can buy tickets at pageanttickets.com. All right, it is time for swimming, and we've got some splash days for the kids, and the next one's going to be on July 8th from 12 to 4 p.m. at Pool 2. It's $5 admission for the kids, and uh, they've got lots of fun, fun things like a water slide and games and ice cream floats. You can certainly bring your own picnic. Uh, they do prohibit glass and alcohol, so make it kid-friendly. If you want more information, contact Recreation again at recreation at vmsinc.org. Now, something the Florence Sylvester Senior Center is doing is Medicare education. And who doesn't need education about all those different uh, rules and regulations? You can check that out by calling 949-380-0155 to reserve your spot. And that uh, will be coming up here in the next month, so give them a call and uh, get more information about that. All right, let's take a look at our weather. Warm skies, warming up even more next week, but we are looking at nice, beautiful days here for the next few days. Today's temperatures, uh, we are going to be looking at 82.65, 84.58, 83.68, 86.70, and 84.62 if you are traveling. I take a look at these numbers. Both beaches and mountains are looking great. 76, 76, 77, 109 in Palm Springs. Tahoe, Big Bear, and Mammoth, 83, 79, and 80. And Las Vegas is 106. Have a great day in the village. We'll be back again here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Saturday. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.